Promise Road is the story of a young married couple, Greg and Jet, um, who have recently had a baby, and their struggle to adapt to a lifestyle that's very different from the wild rock and roll lifestyle they had been living. Their marriage is challenged by the arrival of someone from Jet's past, uh, someone with a very clear agenda. Chloe's a much bigger star now than I ever was. This has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with you? Really? Because, because this evening right here seems to have everything to do with you. And her biggest fan, Chloe, shows up, and they have a very tumultuous and complicated relationship. And Chloe has offered Jet an opportunity that would change Jet's life, and she has to decide whether or not she is ready for that. What do you want from me, Chloe? You want to wreak havoc on my life? For what? Payback? You want my career? You have it. You took it all. And I admit, I am you. Just like you want it, right? Well, it's, it's certainly a love triangle. And, you know, certainly it has a lot to do with right versus what's in your heart, and it can often conflict. The play is about people who can't let go of the past and the lengths that they will go to to hold on to it. What's wrong? <laughs> That was supposed to be me. My Rolling Stones cover! My multi-platinum hit single. My platinum deal. It's, it's really about a woman's fight for happiness. Fight to believe in yourself. A fight to know who you are. Thematically, the play is about choices. Uh, the choices we make, the paths we take, and how those affect us and others in our life. Never mentioned once Well, there's probably a lot of things uh, about her life that she doesn't mention to her fans. Well, I just know sometimes couples have a baby just to try to make things work. Well, thanks for your concern, but we're working just fine. It's about dreams, uh, the ones that we've given up on and the ones that we never give up on, and the fact that we have to know which ones to let go of in order to maintain our sanity. <laughs> No. Don't call me. Don't email me. Don't look for me. Don't write about me. Don't sing about me. Don't. There's fate. There's destiny. It's, it's beautiful. Though it's not a musical, it is a play with music in it. It's all original music. The two female characters in the play are songwriters, and they pour their heartache and their lives into their music. between the notebook and vertigo and there's a there's a hint of moulin rouge in this revolutionary road and the bridges of madison county but with music and maybe a touch of rent some of the things the characters do in the play might anger some people um, others might be inspired it's the sort of piece that holds a mirror up to oneself Everybody has flaws, everybody's made mistakes, everybody has done things that they are not proud of. <laughs> I think audiences, after seeing this story, will, will certainly relate absolutely to all three of the characters whether 
you've loved and lost or whether you've loved and still continue to love and don't have what you want and or even your career not following what's in your heart you know jet really battles with not following through with her dreams look i know you didn't turn out to be the rock star you hoped you'd be, you'd be but that's the breaks babe we're not uprooting rooting our lives and giving Eva some kind of gypsy hippie childhood so that mommy can live her deluded pipe dream. That came out wrong. <laughs> it really makes you question whether or not people can change or if they're destined to be stuck and clinging to the past forever and that's sort of left up to the audience to decide for themselves. Do you think that people can change? I think that they can adapt and they can change on the surface, but the core of who you are and your passions, those things never change. Scar